This is the X-Tool Rotary Accessory 2 that works with your M1 laser. So I am going to talk to you all about this tool and how to engrave round or circular items, specifically tumblers. So this particular setup is an accessory you can buy to go with your M1, and it has everything you need to engrave round or cylinder type items. It comes in a box like this with everything you need. There's a great instruction manual walking you through exactly how to put this together. And this particular piece has a number of different functions. And so this is going to walk you through how to use each of those functions. So I have this set up with the chuck, which are these pieces right here, which can hold something as small as a ring and as large as a 40 ounce tumbler. The other way to set it up are with these two rollers. This chuck can come off. These rollers get put down here, and then it is just called a rotary tool. So we have the chuck and the rotary. The chuck comes with these pieces here, and this is the smaller size. There is also a larger size that can be added here. This can get larger or smaller using this little tool right here. And you can take a tumbler. This is a stainless steel tumbler with a powdered coating on it. And I am gonna put mine so the feet here go inside the cup. You can actually put them on the outside as well. And then I'm just gonna tighten this until it holds. With it all set up like this, what this allows us to do is put this inside the M1 laser and engrave right here. And then it can also turn as we engrave. So you could engrave a design around the entire perimeter of this tumbler. Now you'll notice that with this piece, it hangs off a little on the end here. There's this leveler that comes with this tool. I can bring it down a little bit and put it under. Now this is important because when I'm engraving, I wanna make sure that this is flat. So I wanna raise this up a little bit. The kit comes with this handy little level here. And so this is a tapered tumbler, larger on the top, smaller on the bottom. So when I put that there, it's definitely not level. I can use this to bring it up until I have a flat surface. When engraving a tumbler that is tapered, you can tell in this one that it starts to taper right around here. It is best to do the engraving on the top part where it's a little bit flatter. You're going to get some distortion as you go down there a little bit. For today's purposes, we are going to engrave something that is already flat. This is another stainless steel tumbler inside and out with a powder coating on the outside. There are certain materials you can engrave with the M1 and certain you cannot. Uh, be sure to check out the material reference guide just to make sure that you're keeping everything safe. Some coatings, when you engrave them, uh, can give off some toxic fumes that we definitely don't want. We know that powder coating is safe. So let's put this one on. And even though this is flat, we still want to make sure it's level. All right. Now let's go get the M1 set up and we can put this inside. Over here I have my X tool and it is set up on these risers. This is what you'll need to raise your X tool up when using the rotary tool. They come with symbols on the sides and some instructions here. And I'm gonna show you how to coordinate what you're doing with which size riser you need. But you can tell right off the bat here, like this says RA2 Pro, maybe I'm gonna use this symbol and this side. The rotary tool comes with this tape measure, and this is gonna be really handy when engraving a tumbler. So what I wanna do is I wanna figure out the perimeter of this. So I just wrap this around, put it through the little hole, pull it tight, and then I'm gonna get my perimeter. So the first thing I wanna note is that this falls in the red line, and I'm at about 27.2 millimeters. So I'm gonna to need to know that when we go over to the computer. So what these symbols do is they coordinate with the ones that are on the risers. So if I have something small enough that falls into the green, I wanna make sure that my X tool is raised appropriately. This is gonna help measure the height for the laser. So I know that I want it on Y, which is what it's on right now, and that I'm at 27.2 centimeters. 
inside the X tool, this base plate comes out. There are a few screws around the side, which I have already loosened. And now I can just pull this piece out. So this nice heavy piece then, we just wanna set on the bottom down by the risers. The rotary tool is connected with a cable. This more complicated round side will plug into the back of the machine. And then this piece will plug into the rotary tool. This piece we're just gonna leave in the bottom here. And we're gonna slide the other half up and plug it in. I have this all set to go here and I'm just gonna set it down in the bottom. This white piece right here is where we're gonna plug it in. I have turned my machine on and everything is set up and ready to go. It's a little hard to see here. There is a little red dot that you'll always have with your M1 and it is sitting right in the middle of my tumbler. What I like about this tumbler as a good way to start is that it's flat and I'm not too worried about where the design ends up. Um, it could go on any perimeter of this tumbler and it's still gonna look great. I can't recommend enough how much you should have some testers. If you can go to your thrift store or get a really good deal on some tumblers, you're going to need to do quite a few tests because even the settings I give you can be perfect for me and they're gonna be need to be tweaked for you. So I have plugged in my machine. I have opened up Xtool Creative Space and this is what I see on my screen. The camera has taken a picture of the tumbler. Now this is gonna be a little bit different than when we're engraving something flat. The first thing we need to do up on the right is go to the cylinder laser and you can see that changes the perspective here. So we have this yellow line going down the middle and we have our tumbler right here. I'm actually gonna move this yellow line to about the center of my tumbler. Remember I said this is flat and there is really no place on the perimeter that I need to put my graphic. Um, if you have, if you wanna line up your engraving with a logo or something else, then you may want to be a little more detailed with this. But again, this is our first tumbler. It is flat. Uh, we have a little bit of leeway here. All right, so we have the cylinder laser. Now we need a user defined material. I have found that these metal business card settings work really well. Uh, but again, test it out and figure out what works for you. I also want to indicate chuck here. Roller is if we just had those two rollers on the uh, rotary tool, but we don't. We have the chuck hooked up. And then I'm going to put in the perimeter, 27.2. Oh, and actually I have it in inches here, so I need to convert that 27.2 centimeters, not inches, or not millimeters, centimeters. I need to convert that over to inches. So that is the perimeter. Now I'm going to auto measure. All right, now that we have all of this set, I am going to bring in our design. So I have an SVG here that I designed and I'm going to set this over on the side here to engrave. And remember I said I had that metal business card setting. I have found that this works really well. Now this is the top of my tumbler here, so I do need to rotate this. and I wanna size it up. Oops, make sure we're all grouped together. The very edge of my graphic needs to line up with this yellow line. And this is gonna rotate as it engraves. So it's gonna rotate this way. So it's gonna start here and go this way. So I think this looks about right. The next important step is framing. So I am gonna hit process and I'm going to frame it and then head over to the machine. It can be a little difficult to see through the plexiglass cover here, but when I hit the button, it is going to draw a box around the area that's going to be engraved. And I really wanna make sure that that box is exactly where I want it. If it's not, I can go adjust. And that actually looks perfect. Now I just go ahead and hit start, hit the button on the machine, and we're ready to go.
look at that. It turned out gorgeous. So let me show you how to clean this up a little bit. So the engraving is beautiful on here. Took the powder coating right off and you can see the silver stainless steel down below. But we can shine that up just a little bit. Personally, I just like to use a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a paper towel. What this does is takes off any residue that's left over from the laser or any of that powder coating that some of the dust that might have been left on there and it just shines it up. I've also heard you can use a magic eraser and a number of different cleaning items that are out there. But again, just like the engraving settings, figure out what works for you. So that is how you use the X-Tool Rotary Accessory 2 for the M1. You can achieve amazing results just like this on powdered coated tumblers of all shapes and sizes. This is a tapered one with the same logo. See, it's kind of tapered on the side. But if you use that leveling tool, you're gonna get a great look on this as well. I hope you found this video helpful and you learned something today. If you have more questions about the chuck or the rotary tool, let me know down in the comments. I would be happy to answer them or even make another video for you. If you like learning about craft tech like this, consider subscribing. I am here every week with new videos. Thanks for watching.